Hello, folks. This is Eric. Today is July the 17th, 2023. And in this video, once again, we're going to be resolving exercises on the history of Brazil, particularly the nativism, right? And in the first question by the Federal, the Federal University of Pernambuco, we have... Uh, we read that the term nativism is used by historians to designate riots or resistance movements against the Portuguese domination. Yes, it is correct, but uh, we should emphasize here the fact that these uh, resistance movements or riots did not imply the emancipation, okay? They just aimed... Uh, at um, improvements in terms of the way they lived, in, in terms of the way they interacted with the metropolis, okay? And we continue here saying that the following are nativist movements that took place in Brazil. So we have all these names here. Also important uh, is the fact that the nativism uh, started as of the 17th century. So, for example, we have here the Confederation of the Tamoios. And this movement was actually an alliance between the Tamoios, indigenous, and the French against the Portuguese, right? And it took place long before uh, the nativism. We also have here, for example, the War of the Barbarians, right? The War of the Barbarians was a movement um, that... Um, that involved the, the indigenous peoples against the Portuguese, uh, you know, concerning uh, the possession of land that the Portuguese wanted to have, you know, to make money, basically, <laughs> right? Uh, so these are not uh, movements that we can uh, include in the nativism, okay? Um, we have here the Praeda Revolution, and this one here is, you know, it took place, um, you know, in the days of Dom Pedro II. Canudos was also uh, an, an event that took place uh, before, uh, a little before, you know, Dom Pedro II, during the Regency period. Quilombo dos Palmares, you know, that was an event involving, for example, uh, it's not, sorry, not, ex not for example. Quilombo dos Palmares involved the black slaves that fled, you know, from their honors and that established, you know, these, uh, these territories, these uh, slave territories. Uh, and this one is the most important one, Quilombo dos Palmares, right? So out of these alternatives, the only one uh, that, um, the only alternative that involves, that entails only nativist movements is alternative A, Mascates, which was um, a conflict uh, involving Olinda and Pernambuco, right? Um, and that involved um, taxes. In Boabas, which uh, was a conflict involving uh, the trailblazers from Sao Paulo and the Portuguese who wanted to, uh, you know, to have the dominion over uh, the gold mining. And the Beckham's Revolt, which involved the monopoly of, uh, of the Portuguese concerning uh, the, the, the African slavery trade and uh, the, the, the bid, I mean, sorry, the ban, the ban on the indigenous slavery. Right, so this is the only alternative that really, really, um, uh, that really uh, entails nativist movements. And the second question is: Along the colonial period in Brazil, the interests between the metropolis and the settlers were expanding. The discontent was aggravated when, on April tenth, sixteen eighty, the crown, the Portuguese crown, established the unconditional freedom of the indigenous strictly forbidden them to be enslaved. It also entrusted them to the Jesuits, who were granted the spiritual and temporal jurisdiction of the indigenous villages. In order to solve the issue of labor for agricultural activities in Maranhão, the government created the Maranhão State Commerce Company. For 20 years, the company would have the monopoly of the import and export trade of the state of Maranhão and Grão Pará. It was incumbent upon it to provide 10,000 
10,000 black African slaves at the rate of 500 a year during the period of the concession granted. Wow, so the question is, considering the mercantilist, geographical and chronological elements, the conflict inferred from the text was the revolt named, so we have here as alternatives, Emboabas, which is wrong, right? Because Emboabas did not involve Maranhão, as we read there, right? It is always, you know, the question is always mentioning uh, Maranhão, Grão Pará, right? So, no way. Mascates, no way as well. It involved, as we said in our first question, Olinda and Pernambuco. Amador Bueno, yes, it was a nativist. Um, it was a nativist uh, movement, right? But the time, you know, the here we have the mercantilist, the geographical and chronological elements. Mercantilist, yes, it involves nativist movements. Geographical, yes, it also involves Maranhão, but chronological, no way, because here. We are talking about 1680, 1682, and the Amador Bueno uh, revolt took place some four, uh, some some four decades before that, some forty years before that. So this one is wrong in terms of chronological, uh, in, in terms of the chronological element. Felipe dos Santos, no, 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 it involved gold. And uh, it, the, 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 ge the, the geographical element is wrong here because it took place in Minas Gerais. And as a consequence, as a result, the only correct alternative is alternative E as an elephant, that is Beckham, the Beckham Revolt, right? This is a revolt involving, uh, involving the siblings, Beckham, right? Uh, because uh, they were really angry you know at the metropolis since the metropolis banned the, the the indigenous slavery not because they were the good guys you know that they loved the indigenous but because they wanted to make money on the african slavery that was really profitable at the time so uh you know this monopoly involving the the maranhão state commerce company really made you know the the mill owners angry and also, you know, the, the, the price, you know, the, the rates charged, you know, from the owners to buy African slaves were ooh, very high. So they got angry and, you know, they started all these, this movement called the Beckham. If you want to uh, hear more details on it, please watch our class. Uh, it is on YouTube, and there you're going to find all the details on the back home movement, okay? Well, thank you so much for watching this video, and see you in our next video on the history of Brazil.